Venous thromboembolism, or VTE, is sometimes the first sign of cancer. But how often? Previous studies suggest that the rate of an occult cancer in a patient with a first unprovoked VTE may be as high as 10%. This leaves physicians with an important question. When a patient presents with a first-time unprovoked VTE, how aggressive should we be in searching for an occult cancer? The SOM trial compared limited cancer screening alone, which included basic blood work, a chest x-ray, and breast, cervical, or prostate cancer screening as appropriate to the patient's sex, age, and risk factors, with limited cancer screening plus a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. The primary outcome was a confirmed cancer diagnosis within one year after the initial VTE. In the trial, a total of 854 patients with an unprovoked VTE were randomized to receive limited cancer screening or limited cancer screening and a CT scan. After the initial workup, 10 cancers were detected in patients who received limited cancer screening and 14 cancers in patients who received limited cancer screening and a CT scan. Over a follow-up period of one year, four additional cancers were found in the patients who had undergone limited screening alone and five additional cancers in those whose screening had included a CT scan. These were all tumors thought to have been missed by the initial screening. There was no difference in the time to cancer diagnosis between the two groups. This prospective trial found that the overall prevalence of occult cancer in patients with a first unprovoked VTE was low, at 3.9%. Adding a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis to a limited cancer screening was of no benefit in such patients. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.